Hey everyone, Kai here. Um, today I'm going to do a short tutorial on Ableton Live 10. Uh, I encountered a problem um, moving from Apple MacBook uh, machine to back to Windows. Uh, I used to process all my Ableton files and tracks on, on, on a MacBook, uh, but I've since moved back to Windows machine and just because I'm so used to using Windows, I've not used my MacBook in a long time. Um, the problem I encountered is actually the issue with the M4A files. Uh, under Ableton um, website, India website, um, in their support page, what they have stated is M4A is an Apple file format which is not natively supported on Windows. In live on Windows M4A files can only be opened in conjunction with Apple QuickTime. Um, we used to buy all our tracks, or at least most of the time anyway, on M4A uh, files as opposed to WAV because uh, it was a little bit cheaper and not many people were going to notice the difference between M4A and WAV files. Um, that helped us save, especially, you know, buying a lot of tracks over the years and all that kind of thing. Now, if you're a Windows user, uh, that's the problem that you most likely encounter. It doesn't happen to every single set. It happens um, on and off here and there. I'm not sure why it, oh, some files open and some don't. Uh, I tried Googling around for answers. I couldn't really find a proper one. So I kind of made like a you know, a hack or so, or something like that, so to speak. So the only way to, to get around this issue is actually to convert all your M4A files into WAV files. Uh, you can use any program to do that, but ironically enough, the easiest way is to actually use iTunes to do that. So I'm going to show you how. Uh, if you go into your Ableton project or your settings that or the tracks that you're working on, go into multi-tracks, um, sort by file, and you see all the stems here, they're all on M4A. So select all of that and drag it into iTunes. Once it's in there, just open up the album. And then you select all of them and then go to file and go to convert and create wave version. And wait for it to do that. Once it's done, just click on one of the songs and I'm going to right click and say show in Windows Explorer and you'll open up the process part and you can see they're all now WAV files now. So go back to the projects where you, your, your stems are. I'm going to select everything and I'm actually going to delete them. And then I will copy or cut these files, the WAV files that have been converted and drop them in to, to the project file. And then now I'll open the folder or the ALS file. And I think I'm going to get a prompt saying that they can't find the files or something like that. There you go. You see it's empty. There's nothing in here. Sample offline. So what you're going to do is actually just drop all the WAV files back into it. Now this song is called Spirit Move. Open up the Spirit Move project there. Multi-tracks. And just drop in one by one. So bass. Line it up. And then drums. Just line it up there. Uh, EG1 electric guitar one. EG2, just make sure you line it up straight into the first measure or the first beat. Uh, guide, I don't need guide because I've already got guide there, which are like cues. Keys one, bring it down there. And then perk or percussion. And then piano, then drop it in. Cool, it should all work now. Intro, all in. One, two, three. Three, four. Well, there you go. A quick, simple fix. Um, if there's a quicker way to do this, please let me know. But this is, uh, I guess, a workaround or a hack uh, for those who are using Windows machine with M4A files. Thanks.